Nikes on my feet, keep my safer Complete like, 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 like,
do the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, it gives it more of a matte, more of a dull look when you take that finish off. So now we're going to let this one sit while we do the next pair and then we'll get this one painted. So one thing I do want to mention is this acetone stuff is pretty strong so you may want to get some gloves uh, just so you don't get it on your hands. So now that we got this shoe prepped, we're going to be starting on the other shoe. Uh, basically as you can see this one's had time to dry and it has like more of a matte dull look. Now we're going to hit this pair and get this finish off. Alright, so now both pairs are prepared. So now we can go ahead and get our paint ready and get these painted. And we're only gonna do two coats of black and then we're gonna come and we'll hit it with the matte acrylic finisher once everything's done. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the shoes have had time to settle. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some of our Angelus flat black into the uh, painting trays. We'll get a little paint in there and then make sure that you have your brush ready as well. All right, so now that we have our paint ready, we can go ahead and get some paint on the brush. Uh, not too much. You don't want it to be uh, too globbed on. I mean, it'll really mess the shoe up. So just a little bit, that's all you need. And then you can go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see, we got one uh, side painted. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry while we work on the other side. And then we'll come back and hit it with another coat of paint. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. And then we'll come back and hit it with the acrylic finisher uh, to finish it off. So yeah, very easy custom, very easy to do. Um, the one thing you do okay, wanna be careful here, with go. is back, not back, to touch back, the red back, up back, here. Back, back. So be very careful with that part. And of course, you don't want to get it on any of the other paint. But it's coming along nicely. All right, so now that we have both sides painted, we're going to go ahead and let this one dry while we get started on the other shoe. So we'll go ahead and get this one painted while the other shoe dries. You can also use a heat gun. That'll speed up the process. Uh, but we'll get, we're going to get this one painted. We'll let this one dry and then we'll go ahead and hit the other shoe with the second coat before we add the matte uh, before we add the matte acrylic finisher to this. Alright, so let's get started. done we're gonna go ahead and start on the other side all right so we're back uh, this shoe right here has been sitting for a while as we've given it a chance to dry on both sides so now it's going to be ready to be hit with the second coat of black and once we get both sides painted we'll move on to the other shoe and then we'll come back and hit it with the acrylic matte finisher and then this shoe will be ready to be laced up once it's dried and we'll have it ready to go ready to be shipped out all right so let's get started Thank you. 
All right, so now that the shoe is painted on both sides, we're gonna give it a chance to rest and dry. And we're gonna get this other shoe painted and then we'll come back and apply the finisher and be done. So yeah, both shoes have been painted. We're gonna go ahead and let them rest a little bit and then we'll come back and hit it with the matte acrylic finisher. All right, everybody, so now that both pairs or both shoes have had a chance to dry, we're gonna go ahead and add some Angelus matte acrylic finisher. We're gonna add that on both shoes and we'll let that dry and then we'll throw the laces on and then these shoes will be ready to go. Yeah, one side has been covered with the finisher, we're going to let that dry and then we'll work on the other side. Okay, so now that one shoe has been hit with the finisher, we're going to go ahead and do the other shoe while the other one dries. And then once we let both of them rest for a while, we'll go ahead and throw the laces on and they should be ready to rock. Alright, so we're going to let both shoes rest. And then once they are dry, we'll go ahead and throw the laces on them. Alright, so now that both pairs are finished, we're gonna go ahead and get these laced up, and then that'll be it. Alright, and that's how you do a Jordan 1 bag custom on a minute. I think it came out really nice. We got it all laced up, ready to be shipped out. And this should hold up for a really long time. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Make sure that you hit that subscribe and like button. Make sure you turn on the bell notifications. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Kicking It With Mixer and at Bad Boy Mixer. And we're out. Peace.